welcome back to Fodra Adventure Crew. My name is Vaz and today we are still in Utah playing right outside Hurricane and uh, San Hollow. We are going to Tokerville Falls and we're taking one of the harder trails which is uh, rated 6 uh, which should be pretty easy for us because it's nothing special, nothing crazy, just some uh, washes, some river crossings and stuff but overall should be a very scenic drive. So stay tuned, we're about to hit the trail. And driving on this trail is pretty cool. There's a, a lot of road that is going down in the creek bed or in the wash. When the high water coming down, this is where it comes through. And uh, yeah, lots of trails up here run through that kind of a terrain. It's pretty cool. It washes out all kinds of big rocks and everything and uh, creates its natural obstacles. But we're just the beginning of the trail that leads us to the waterfalls. And the waterfalls are pretty cool this time of year because there's a lot of water coming down the river. found one sketchy hill and I just came down it it is a funny feeling now I'm gonna try to get my sister on the heaviest rig to come down and uh, look at the look at the sloped angle look at that piece of cake yeah yesterday we broke and fixed uh, my brother's uh, Jeep the drive shaft and I uh, hurt myself smashed my thumb real hard trying to change a u-joint it's okay I'll survive but that Jeep is uh, lives to drive another day with us on the trails for low 421 transfer case first gear and don't use any brakes that's his uh, recipe for success on this hill this trail is rated difficulty six because it has some of these uh, ledges and stuff but six would require a locker we'll see if uh, we'll find the spot where one of us will need to use a locker to get over some obstacles uh, so far I don't see it I'm still in two-wheel drive and uh, it's been going pretty good the only time I turned on the four low was to get down that hill without sliding because uh, today it's me and Michael and his car seat Michael say hi hi Michael yeah we're having fun today we're bouncing on some rocks He's the only one that was uh, available to go on the ride with daddy today. Hi, huh, Michael. <laughs> and the place we're going towards today, we're having uh, some uh, rain on and off today. There are some thunderstorms are in the area, so there's uh, going to be some uh, sprinkling here and there. And we got some uh, dark clouds in the direction we're heading. But we got Onyx off-road map to guide us to the, our destination without getting lost in all these trails because there's trails going everywhere around here. So we're just sticking to the trail that's telling us it's gonna take us where we wanna go.
All right, out in the distance over there, I can see the river we're trying to get to. So we got a little bit more of zigzagging before we're gonna make it up to that river. And then we're gonna be following the river all the way to the waterfalls. So, should be uh, pretty cool. And it's uh, weird weather up here in mid-June for Southern Utah. We are in the mid 80s, low 70s sometimes even. And uh, with uh, overcast, it's really cool. Nice and uh, breezy, so you're not sweating. It's not too hot. And uh, overall, I love it. It's like perfect time we pick to come out here to play on all these trails. Here we go, we got down to the river. And uh, we're gonna be following the trail along the river and across the river a few times according to the description on the map. So, should be pretty good. It's a little bit dusty behind me. But, that's desert, that's normal. And that's why we have uh, working ACs in our Jeeps. Even though Jeeps get a little hot running with AC, but at least it's not having dust in your face the whole time we're out here. Except I'm the one that's, you know, first, so I get to have an open window and basically get the camera outside and film it. Film it. We crossed the river once so far, but uh, Michael decided to take a nap. It's his uh, nap time, I guess. The trail is a little bit uh, rough. Rocked him to sleep. We all woke up kind of early this morning because uh, we had thunderstorm came through in our RV in the morning and uh, woke all of us up around eight so we can go and put all of our stuff that was out in the open under the RV so it doesn't get wet. So it was some uh, commotion in the morning and uh, woke everybody up. So now he's taking a nap. But he'll wake up by the time we get to the falls and that's gonna be a pretty cool scene for him to see. And as we're driving closer to the river, there are some big trees growing right on the banks of this uh, river. And uh, that's pretty cool. In the desert, water is life. Almost swallowing 35 inch tires over there. Nah, about halfway. But I'm still in two wheel drive. Along these banks of the river, there's a lot of uh, places where people camp. And if it would be in our area, I would definitely camp out here. Uh, certain times of the year, I would think this is gonna be this is like a very cool spot to get away from everything. You're surrounded by canyons, canyon walls, and you're just camping in a peaceful area. So no cell service, so you are away from the civilization, the hustle and bustle. That's kind of nice, and you are only about half an hour away from town and you're already this kind of secluded away really cool
good thing this river is not too high. This is our style of off-road trailing. Look at this water just gushing everywhere. All right, and we are through on the other side. Tanya's going up. There's a nice swimming hole right there. And some chipmunks are fighting on the hill over there. All right, looks like we're gonna have to cross the river one more time here. Oh man. Woo! Okay, I seen this spot at Matt's Off Road. This is a pretty tough one. Yeah, this is our style of uh, road trails. Little driver, there's a big rock in the center. Yeah, perfect. Now full driver. Now Katya has to cross the river all by herself. Don't break any legs, please. Katya, what's the temperature of the water? It's cool, but it's nice. It's not that cold. You can't see anything. Nice 60 degrees, huh? All right, we made it another cr water crossing, so. Yeah, this one was a pretty cool one. Quite a bit of ledges. Making this obstacle right here is a number six. Going up it, you would need lockers because your tires would be wet and you would need traction. And uh, going up, that obstacle is a number six.
it's pretty cool to drive right down the river it's a really cool feeling but it's really tough because you got these big massive rocks just in the middle of your trail and uh, you're hitting with your pumpkins here and there so it's pretty brutal but pretty fun at the same time and right now we're gonna get out drive a little on the side of the river and then cross the river again and man that oh that's actually what makes this trail tough is all these uh, rocks in the road in your way so yep all these massive rocks and Michael woke up hi Michael you had a little nap yeah <laughs> he's shy man these river crossings are really cool and uh, pretty fast moving water luckily it's shallow but it's a pretty fast moving river Scraped with the pumpkin a little bit. Now it's Sasha's turn. Today he has to be on a good behavior. He ran out of a spare drive shaft. So far on this tour of destruction, we broke two drive shafts, broke two rear springs and one swing out tailgate yep nice and easy the other day we took the easy way to tuckerville falls just with our families in the afternoon and uh, it was awesome. We didn't feel much just uh, with the drone at the falls, but today we decided to drive through this uh, more difficult way to get to this beautiful place. So we're almost there. Driving on this trail, I was wondering where is the spot that everybody sinks their Jeeps? Like uh, Curious George did, and Matt had to rescue his uh, hundred thousand dollar jeep and if you're driving through here you see a road oh man these these bugs are killing me Ugh. so you see the road goes up or you can see that you can go right through here but the problem is is there's a deep underwash right here on the side and then there's that sand obstacle so if you go straight through right here you're gonna sink so you either have to go up up around or try to come through right here climb and get over if you go right there you will sink all right i'm gonna try not to sink
was able to make it without sinking because I was taking it easy and now Tanya's trying to destroy some trees all right perfect so I'm gonna grab a stick and kind of show you guys the deep spot that I came to and said nope and right about here is a very deep spot that's about three and three feet and then you got this undercut right here that's deep as well so no bueno so that's why you have to go over and over to make it through this right, i'm gonna hitch a ride on some rock sliders but the water is not bad really swimmable though let me hitch a ride I guess everybody gets stuck here when the water is not this clear. When the water's coming down muddy, that's when you can't tell what's where. And if it flows faster, it undercuts more by that rock. All right, let's get to the falls. We got to another pretty cool spot. Here comes the river undercutting under this mountain. And then there's this small waterfall. That is pretty cool. Very narrow right here, but very fast moving water. That's really cool. Hey, I made it across a little canyon without falling down man this is a pretty cool place another cool spot along this beautiful trail well there was uh, two options to go either down the river or straight up the canyon uh, to connect to the main road and uh, the road that goes along the river ties in with the road that we're on just a little bit up ahead so uh, wanted to see how much uh, different this route is versus the other one so I popped up this way and looks like the crew followed and we're gonna drop down to the river here again shortly Well, we finished with the Rattlesnake Gulch Trail and now we are on the Tuckerville Falls R Trail uh, going the, I guess, the harder way 
there's a, it's a loop, you can go one way or the other, but we're taking the harder side, not the easy side. So the one that you have to cross the river about four or five times. And uh, here's the river. We came back down to it and we're about to cross it. And my wings are full of uh, mud from us crossing rivers so many times and then going up sandy hills and me gunning it a little bit here and there, throwing all that mud all over my car. Michael, is it bumpy? Is the road bumpy? Yeah, you tired? Yeah, you wanna sleep again? Okay, we're almost there, Michael. And then you can take another nap. And then we're gonna take the easy way out. Like I was saying earlier, along the river, there's plenty of these camping spots. Fire rings, man-made fire rings and stuff, so really cool place i mean look at the canyon look at the view you get surrounded the area it's just awesome and there's a good uh, camping spot right next to the waterfalls themselves there's a uh, plenty of uh, flat area for anybody to come out there and camp so early spring that's probably the best time to camp there when it's not too hot still because right now, mid 80s and stuff uh, is a bit hot to camp during the day. But at night, it gets down to like 60 degrees out here. And uh, it's really cool. Even right now, we're sleeping in RV outside San Hollow. And it gets down to 60 degrees. Uh, you wake up a little bit chilly uh, at night. Some of the nights. Some of the nights, it's actually not bad. But 65, 70 degrees really warm but some days it's cold well, according to our map we're almost at the falls so maybe another uh, quarter mile or so and we'll be there and never mind it was not even a quarter mile it was uh, basically about 200 feet and we made it look at the waterfalls Woo! this is pretty cool and look at that, nobody else is here. That's the beauty of uh, coming out here mid week and enjoy places like this all to yourselves. We made it. We made it to the destination. Just look at the waterfall. Look at all the water flow. Yeah, man. Really cool pictures you can take from here. That's awesome. This will conclude our video for this trip. This was uh, Rattlesnake Gulch over to Tuckerville. Tokerville Falls so we'll uh, try to do a few more runs here and there and uh, you guys just wait for more videos to come out on this awesome adventure that we're having out there out here in Utah thanks for watching see ya